This is the American Geophysical Union. 15,000 scientists come here pretty much every year, crossing all of geology, physics, planetary science. This is one of the key places to get your science results out and to talk to scientists in other fields. It's really a lot of fun. We've just published four papers in the Nature mag Science magazine that give some new results from the first two orbits of Parker Solar Probe. It's pretty impressive. Every time we've gone someplace new, we've been surprised. We're seeing things about the origin of the solar wind and why the corona is hot that we don't completely understand yet. But that's the fun of science. We're puzzled, but this is the key to understanding some basic science questions about the sun. Why is the corona hotter than the surface of the sun? A thousand times hotter than the surface of the sun. Normally when you get further away from a heat source like a fire, you get colder. How is this weird condition where the corona is a couple million degrees and the surface is only 6,000 degrees? We knew it had to do with the magnetic field probably, but the exact mechanism was not known. And we still don't know exactly, but we're starting to see key waves and switchbacks in the magnetic field that are pointing us in the direction. And these things will dump energy into the corona and are probably what's heating it. A lot of the solar wind comes from these things called coronal holes, which is where the magnetic field from the sun goes out into the distant solar system and actually blow a bubble in interstellar space. A lot of the magnetic field lines from the sun actually go up out of the surface and then connect back in, sunspots and other active regions and stuff. But it's the opening field lines that really are what cause the solar wind, what causes the corona to be hot. And so we're flying over some of these coronal holes and seeing little jets and little events that get washed out in the 93 million miles between the sun and the earth. And so only by going where the action is can we really start to see them and now hopefully understand them. Over the next five years, there's gonna be lots of more results. You know, this is just the start and it's already super exciting. This is why NASA does these missions. This one is answering some basic questions about not only our sun, but they help us understand all the stars in the universe because our sun is the only one that we can travel directly to.